here we are. It's still Brighton nil. Crystal Palace nil. Brighton on the attack in the penalty area now. With good defending for Crystal Palace, forcing them back. Interception made and Crystal Palace can come forward. Here's Zaha, runs into his man, tackled in the end to help. And Brighton still trying to deal with it. To now get it clear. Here come Crystal Palace again. Dicker Choi comes forward into some space, tries to pull it through to Wilbraham, who just peels away into a space outside of the penalty area. Dicker Choi really wanted him in the area. And comes Ward though, dealt with by Brighton, and on the break now is Lopez. Lopez still on the ball. Cuts it back, trying to find Orlandi, cleared by Yedinak. And further clear and out of play by Crystal Palace. <laughs> Free kick given against Moxie. On Buckley. Buckley likely to take the free kick. No Lopez coming over now, and Lopez be the one to take. Hammond in there. Bridcut in there. No, Bridcut has just come outside now in the penalty area. Waiting for that loose ball crossed into deep to the far post, headed away. Almost comes to break up. Well, in the end, comes to your lower in the penalty area. His control is poor, and it just rolls through to the keeper in goal. Speroni finally picks it up. Almost an act of time wasting, apart from the fact that nobody is winning. Speroni does clear forward now. Wilbraham tries to get a header on it in. For Williams, but Bridge clears and now it's controlled in the centre of midfield by Upson, the defender. Who is actually in the centre of midfield there. Ball forward is out of play by Calderon. And a throw into Crystal Palace. Not really any momentum built by any team so far in his first 32 and a half minutes. Been very much. Um, game a few chances the only real chances have fallen to Brighton possession has generally been in Brighton's favour but neither side exactly threatening the other one's goal with um, added purpose Maybe both teams want to go but both teams also wary that conceding one could be just as costly Ultimately, not really wanting to give too much away by throwing bodies forward just yet. Almost looking for the kind of goal that just comes around just when you get a bit of luck, a bit of quality. Also, could always help. Both teams have quality on their side in attacking positions. Both sides unable to really use their top cards yet. Also, both teams have bench players who can make a difference. Can Brighton's first team players make a difference? It's Bridge, crosses in, headed by a Crystal Palace player, it's Moxie who gets his head on it. And heads it out of play for a throw in on this near side, it's a dangerous cross. Beautifully ball in, your lower was sprinting onto that. And Moxie did very well indeed. Lopez with the work now, tries to get it in. You lower heads it on. Now cleared away. Now it's our heart at the other end. Brought down and wins a free kick. Ball 
For him, it's almost at last. Really just having words with both players with work from the referee to describe what he's saw to both players. Obviously he's our half feels he's hard, been hard done by in these first thirty five minutes. And just explaining why some of the free kicks that he feels he hasn't got haven't been given. And also explaining to Hammond just to keep his feet on the ground at all times. I'm giving that the option to pull out any cards, any colour. And with some of the subs of both teams, Balassi and Phillips both on the bench for Crystal Palace. Well, uh, both Barnes and Luar Luar on the bench for Brighton's attacking threats for both ty both sides. That could really change the game. So both teams have goals on the pitch, both teams have goals on the bench. But will we see goals in this game? Thus far, non goals for either side. There seems to be handball on a Crystal Palace player, it doesn't really matter. Drops to the Brighton centre back of Upson. Upson coming forward. Bit of a rush of blood and plays it to Calder on this right side. Play back by Lopez. Lopez receives the ball again. It's easily playing it around between them. In midfield and defence. In fact, it's Hammond. And this knows where Lopez has gone again. Here's Wayne Bridge on the left side. Or Landy. Just about keeps that ball in play. Again, left hand side, just keeping possession, not really pushing forward. Brighton. There again, Brid cut. Cuts it over, and that's in the middle of both Calderon and Buckley. Calderon out of position, out of position without throwing. Too busy complaining about the ball from Brid cut. And Crystal Palace don't take advantage, but here's Moxie now. Tries to feed it into Wilbraham. And here's Feld. Easy by Bridcut. Nothing given. Look like a foul by Bridcut, the central midfielder for Brighton. In fact, Garavan just stripped over his own feet. And rightly, nothing given. Except for a free kick in favour of Brighton for handball from Garavan. He felt too much, too certain that he had a free kick there. Instead, he had nothing. Free kick given away. Time. 
Here we go, Brighton again now. Lopez, I think, trying to win that ball. Can't quite keep hold of it. Here's Zaha. Goes past Calderon. Calderon catches back up, goes past him again. Pulls Greer out, gets past Greer. Calderon covers for the centre back. Pulls it back, Moxie. Back to Zaha. Zaha onto his left foot. Crossing position, puts it in. Comes off a Brighton player, cleared away by Upson. In his own six yard box. former Premier League centre back had to deal with that and that I mean he's out for a corner kick again to Crystal Palace numerous corners today here's yet another one crossed in again near post headed away and now Garavan picks it up Gabby down on the right hand side, crosses in, cleared by Calderon. Picked up again. Launched back into the penalty area. Zaha's never going to win that in the air. Headed away by Dean Hammond. Picked up. Dukachoy tries to play it into Zaha, cut out. Yedinak picks it up again. Ward on the right hand side. That's in the centre. Williams, Moxie, back to Williams. Crystal Palace just want to keep this pressure on. Bryson seems to reorganise again. Wilbraham, Yedinak, Moxie wants to send Zaha down the left. Zaha controls it, back heels it into Moxie. Well done by Greer and play Buckling blazing off Moxie. And out for a throw into Brighton. Now there's three minutes of the first half remaining. And it remains nil nil. And nil nil on aggregate. Both team both teams really have a lot to look for on the offensive end. I mean Brighton definitely can so Crystal Palace definitely can see weaknesses to get down the wings, especially through Zaha. Just can get a bit too predictable at times that they're going down that route. I'm gonna switch it up, use players, creative players like Williams and Wilbraham to advantage and Dicker Choi. I'd obviously like to get the likes of Moxie and Ward forward more like Brighton are doing with Calderon. You can see a lot of threat coming down the right hand side for uh, Brighton as well. You know, they always know that Brighton know that Zaha is going to get forward and not going to get back so much. So try and take advantage of that with Calderon. It is a risky tactic with Zaha and then with the pace he has. If a break is on. But obviously, Brighton trusting other centre backs and the likes of they trust in the likes of Bridcut, Lopez, and Hammond to get back, and trust in Hobson and Greer to get across to defend. Notice as well for Brighton, they want to get down different angles, try and test the back four down the wing, get crosses in the same. Much more clinical of picking up on mistakes from opposition teams as they have almost did earlier. Just working it through the middle, quick breaks, good passing football is where Brighton are looking to create most of their opportunities from. And the likes of Lopez, Yeloa, and Orlandi at the heart of it with Buckley and Calderon doubling up on the right hand side, giving Moxie all he can handle. Was far in this first half. It looks like we're going to go into the break where neither side has really got any stern advantage 
over the other and we will we'll remain at a stalemate here yeah, after 45 minutes we still have 30 seconds and at 45 to go plus an estimate probably two minutes added on there was a knock earlier for the keeper here comes book um, down the right hand side for Brighton and in the end it's Broodcourt who gives the ball away it was Buckley, sorry, who got down the right. I he forgot his name then. That's kind of the danger. It was just a double up on Moxie from Calderon and, um, and Buckley. And was able to get some free room with Buckley. Nice work from Wayne Bridge. Well, Andy Epps up going backwards. Brid cut now with the ball. Has to send it to his right hand side and Calderon. Nice control. Zaha does brilliantly to come back and wins a free kick as well for his team. Has taken a knock in the process. Don't think it was any been in it from Calderon. He tried to control the ball. And bravely Zaha did brilliantly come back, control it nicely there. And as you can see just Left a bit of his footing when trying to win the ball back. Does take out Zaha. Does work, work much worse on the replay than it did in at first. Zaha now he's okay. And a yellow card for Calderon. Now this time on Zaha. And this should run down the clock now until half time. Bridcut crosses the ball over to Wayne Bridge on the far side. Bridge does well to hold it up. Now finds Hammond. He tries to send it across. Buckley, Lopez. Buckley chips it in nicely. Calderon can't control it. Dickachor gets back this time and clears forward. Now a little break on for Crystal Palace. Zaha plays it off of Bridcut. And uh, a play for a throw in to Palace. As we're looking there for the quick break once again. Help for Moxley down the right hand, down the left. As far as Crystal Palace are concerned, by Dickachoy this time, which what Palace need with that doubling up on him, it was on the inside was Calder on in the penalty area. And in the end it was Dickachoy who came back to help. You lower angry there that he's been penalised. What a foul in the air. Referee just having a word with you know to try and calm him down, restrain him from bringing out his yellow card. It's only giving one out this this evening, and there is the half time whistle, and it is half time here. And rightly so, it's still Brighton nil, Crystal Palace nil. And unless there's some na major changes in the second half. Really does look like this could stay the same for a while. A half time. Crystal Palace. So Brighton nil. Crystal Palace nil. And all square on aggregate. <laughs> 